Hey, this is a review of the Ecovacs Goat G1, which is an autonomous mower. Let's get your lawn on. Now the Goat G1 is an absolute cinch to set up. I didn't use the instructions and out the box I was up and running within 20 minutes. Basically what comes in the box is three components, the charging station, the mower itself, and the navigation beacon. Now Ecovacs have made this as simple as possible. Changing the height is actually done at the unit, it's not done in the app. And because there's no perimeter wire and it's pretty easy to set up those beacons, that makes this an absolute cinch to get going. And honestly, you'll be going in 20 minutes. installation is very simple with the Ecovacs. This is one of the navigation beacons. So you just put your three cells in and they're supplied. You spin it around and you'll hear that beep and that beep means it's ready to go. To add them to your application, you've got a QR code there. And there's also a number. These ones are already added. So for simple yards that don't have sides greater than 45 meters, you'll only need two. If you've got a yard that loops around your house and the beacons can't see each other, well, then you'll need a few more. And there's a few examples that I'll pop up here. And there is a guide that is in the app and it's pretty easy to do. This is a fairly simple area and you just spin it around and you want to have it vertical. No worries there. Put the other one in. Now I can't really use the area near the fence because there's a fence there. So I'm gonna put my other one here. All right, I've got to use the app and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy it is. The cool thing about the Ecovacs app is that it will work with the Ecovacs vacuum and also the window washer. So it will also work for your mower. So you can get it all in the one if you so prefer. If the Ecovax name is familiar, it should be because they've been around for a good 15 odd years in the home autonomous robotic market. They have immense experience in robotics and AI and are leaders in home robotics. Their technology transfers very well to the Ecovax Goat G1. They have an impressive dealer network dealing with major dealers in Australia and they have a great support network should you have a problem or an issue. Ecovacs have great innovative products and are certainly worth the check out. Go to ecovacs.com. So, I'm just gonna enter this in Bluetooth. It's just connecting. And this is my old yard, that's no problem. We're going to disco that, so. Old yard? Yep. What? what? <laughs> Yard, yeah, vintage yard. Vintage yard, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna reset. We're gonna reset this completely. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the navigation beacons and they're already on there, so I don't have to worry about them. It'll detect them. So we'll go into remapping. Got to enter a pin number and the emergency was that I just picked it up and moved it. Okay, so I'll enter my pin number pretty easy there's a control panel here to do it flap down okay so it'll be detecting the area detecting the beacons the way it talks. yeah it does talk doesn't it okay so now we're in the mode of mapping it you've got a little joystick here so staying close and walking behind the mower as you control it is the go here and you go around the edge to map out the area the omnidirectional joystick on the app is a little bit fiddly to use, but just go slowly and take your time. It might take you a couple of goes, but you'll get the hang of it soon enough. Basically go back to where you started and then you'll get a notification and it'll go back into the charging dock. At this point, you'll be prompted to set no entry zones, but I didn't set any in my area. Then you'll be prompted to map the area and this just does it by itself. It actually comes up on the app and shows you where it is. Sorry, I didn't get a screenshot of this. And there's nothing for you to do here except watch and it will go back to its charging dock all by itself. 
So the process of mapping out the edge and then the area mapping took about 10 minutes total, not long at all. Time to go mowing, there's a range of settings but one I'm going to make you aware of is the mowing direction and it's relative to the charging unit. The great thing with the true mapping feature is that it will mow in straight lines and very precisely. Now if you hit mow and you're watching it and it's not going anywhere, don't panic, it does a camera cleaning, it goes for about 10 to 15 seconds before each mow. Now when it comes out it'll do like a little dance, a little circle and that's just checking out the area before starting into the pattern. The way this mows is it'll mow the area inside first and it will do the edge after. You can see what's mowing on the app and this is just my opinion of course but I think it's got a lot of character and actually looks pretty good. And I just love the straight lines and watching it be so methodical in mowing the lawn it's just a pleasure to watch. The pioneering true mapping technology ensures precise positioning and accurate navigation. The GOAT G1 can cut perfectly uniform stripes and with the added ability of AI looking out for obstacles, you're guaranteed getting a great mow almost every time. The GOAT G1 finishes its mow by doing an edge pass to neaten it all up. It only does one pass, which is fine, but I'd like to see the ability to do a few. Maybe that'll come in a future update with the software. But one thing that was really impressive was the AI's ability to pick up all sorts of objects on the lawn and avoid them. Picking up this low-lying hose and sprinkler quite simply is amazing and there's other robot mowers that I've used that haven't been able to pick this feature up, but this one does it and it's very cautious about it as you can see and it'll go right around it until it can pass it and then once it is past it, it'll go mow the area from the other side. Very, very clever. About the only time that the AI didn't work was my water meter out the front, which I could have made a no-go zone, no problems, but I just really wanted to test it out. And it did slow up a little bit just before it, but it actually did hit it. But you'll notice that the bumper is actually moves and indicates a stop. So there's a sensor when that bumper gets stopped by an obstacle. The mower must have a learning feature because it didn't hit it again in my experience and just mowed around it up and back. Now let's give it a real test with some thick and fluffy kaikuyu. Now the mower is safe for pets, but is the mower safe for my pet? That's the thing. It didn't really work out with my dog. With Tucker safely inside, the mower was nice and safe to do this uh, fluffy kaikuyu, which I let grow up, especially for this review. And this is a 40mm cut, and you can see the lines coming in it straight away. This kaikuyu area turned out really quite well at 40mm and it is very very bumpy it's never been top dressed or anything like that straight after the 40 mil mow i dropped it to 30 and i also put those poles on the outside and worked out that i could do that quite easily even though my area has two areas bordered by concrete now this mower did really really well on the bumpy surface and as you can see it's left a very very nice finish with lines of course it won't do the edges and you'll have to do your trimming using a whipper snipper and I'll use a solid edger and finish off with a blow and it made the area all nice and neat. The Ecovax GOAT G1 system has got a lot going for it. It's an easy install, that's for sure. It's the easiest thing I've ever installed in a robot mower. The app is also worthy of a mention. It is just so easy to follow. I didn't need any instructions to install this mower and it just tells you what to do next. So you do the edge pass following it around using that virtual joystick and then it will go map the area by itself and have a bit of a look and learn what to do. The AI is fantastic. Avoiding obstacles, not a problem. Although I haven't touched on it, there's a scheduling part of the app which is nice and easy to use and also has a camera. You can use it in the panoramic mode or the AI mode. I prefer the AI mode and you can actually see what's going on while it's mowing and it'll also have a guard feature when you're not around. Now who's this mower for? Well, this mower makes a lot of sense for busy people. People like FIFOs and people who just don't like mowing the lawn unfortunately and just want a good result. This is going to do it for you. All in all the Ecovax GOAT one performed really well. well. The cut is really decent on the thick Kaikuyu. I got that down to 30mm and been maintaining that for a little while with this mower and look it is fantastic mower. The only, the only downside to it is it will only do one area and it can do up to 1600 meters squared which is a fairly large area but if you wanted to do a front lawn and a back lawn separately 
you won't be able to do that, you have to choose one or the other. But it's a great little unit and being part of the EcoVac system, you could have the whole box and dice, your home automated with your vacuum for your house, your window washing with the Windbot and the goat doing your lawn. It is uh, amazing and will save you a lot of time. I really rate this mower, so go check it out. It's at major retailers, JB Hi-Fi, Bing, Harvey Norman, all those sorts of retailers. Massive thanks to EcoVax for giving me a go with this product and selecting me to review it. It was a real honour and a real pleasure. Like I said, I really rate this mower and it makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. This review wasn't sponsored by EcoVax and everything in this video is my true and honest opinion and EcoVax didn't have any control of the content. I really think that the golden age for robotic lawnmowers have really come of age and have got incredibly clever. So I'm really interested to see what happens next with robot lawnmowers for sure. This one ticks a lot of boxes, no doubt. If you've got a question or a comment, put a comment below and I'll endeavour to answer it. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, it helps me grow. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day just the same. Get your lawn on.